Hey everyone, Ro here. Today we debate just who is the biggest threat to the Imperium of Man. Abaddon and the Forces of Chaos, or the Great Devourer, the Tyranids. Now, there's not really a need for a spoiler warning here, but what the heck, just in case, general spoiler warning to begin as we will be discussing events from across the Warhammer 40k universe. So you have been warned. But with that said, let's just jump straight in. Okay now, as we know, most enemies of the Imperium always have that promise of potentially being the ones to finally end the Imperium of Man. That they are the ultimate threat, and the galaxy will crumble beneath them if they can just get their act together. And well for me, there's probably the big four in this category. Chaos, Tyranids, Orcs and the Necrons. And we'll talk some more about the Greenskins and the Necrons another day, because I do want to discuss the rise of Gork and Mork. But for today, we're going to focus upon Chaos and the Tyranids, because it was these two that Sanguinius prophesied as being the two that would bring about the end times, even going to war themselves over the Imperium's carcass. Now as we know, that has not yet come to pass, with the Sons of Sanguinius largely putting a stop to Hive Fleet Leviathan during the events of the devastation of Baal. But the danger is certainly not over, and the Imperium's end is all still a very real possibility. So, just who poses the biggest threat? Which one of these factions could be the end of the Imperium, Chaos or the Tyranids? Well, it's hard to argue against Chaos given the current state of the Imperium. The Warmaster Abaddon's destruction of Cadia has well and truly changed the playing field. No longer are the traitor legions imprisoned within the Eye of Terror. The Warp has torn the galaxy in half, and the forces of the ruinous powers pour out in a limitless tide. Chaos is quite simply everywhere, particularly across the Cicatrix Milledictum in the northern half of the Imperium. This darkened realm, without the light of the Emperor's Astronomicon, is left at the Dark God's mercy. So just what does Chaos bring to the table? Well, as just stated, they have the Dark Gods themselves. Korn the Blood God, Zinch the Changer of Ways, Slanesh the Lord of Excess, and Nurgle the God of Decay. The ruinous powers quite simply are a power and advantage no other faction can match, save the Imperium themselves of course, with the Emperor's ascension. The Dark Gods are fueled by the very life of the galaxy. Every battlefield, every scheme, every death and every desire fuels their power directly. Never before have their demon kind been so ascendant, so able to act within the material world so freely the literal embodiment of mankind's instinctive fears. And as this turmoil continues, their numbers will only continue to grow. And if that wasn't bad enough, we have the traitor legions. The once loyal servants of the Emperor turned scornful betrayers. The Space Marine Legions were quite simply the greatest fighting forces the galaxy had ever seen, bringing to bear a force of arms even the greatest military commanders can't even fathom. And where the Imperium disbanded theirs through Gilliman's reforms, the forces of Chaos did not. Yes, the Legions now are corrupted bitter parodies of the once pure foundations, 
but many of them can still be called together to march to war as the unmatched powerhouses they are, even led still to this day by their Primarchs of old. When a traitor legion is called to war, the very galaxy shakes in fear. Apart from this brotherhood of course stands Abaddon the Despoiler, the anointed war master of chaos, who by sheer force of will has brought the broken and shattered sons of Horus Legion back from the ashes. Rebirthed as the Black Legion, the Black Legion has quite simply grown to a number rumoured to surpass the height of the Great Crusade of old. Make no mistake, it is through Abaddon's actions alone that chaos is now rampant across the galaxy. While he lives, he controls the greatest military force to oppose the Imperium. There can really be no argument that Abaddon is the greatest asset within the Dark God's arsenal, whether he embraces their power or not. Aside from these figureheads, we have untold numbers of cultists, traitor militarum, night houses and fallen forge worlds, all plying their numbers and trades within the Dark God's forces. Chaos at this time is only matched and held in check, if you could even say that, by the sheer billions of lives holding true to the Imperium, and even then, just barely. So what of the Great Devourer, the mysterious race of the Tyranids? Well, so much of this race's potential relies on the unknown. Just how much of this race remains undiscovered, approaching slowly in the darkness of the void. It's believed to be countless billions, limitless numbers even. And it's worth noting the mere sight of this race was enough to bring the Silent King running back to the galaxy, breaking his own self-imposed exile. If you believe he ever left, of course. However, if this amount is to be true, that the Hive fleets that have so far arrived and caused catastrophic damage are merely the first mere fingertips of the arrivals, then the Tyranids truly are an end game scenario. A race of creatures genetically evolved to do one thing and one thing alone. Kill every other life form. They desire only to feed. And perhaps the most pivotal advantage they have is that this entire species is united beneath the hive mind. It cannot be reasoned with. It cannot be intimidated. It knows no fear. It simply comes. But what it also does is learn. The Tyranids adapt and evolve to whatever enemy they face. Whatever advantage you have will slowly but surely be nullified. And after that, it will become their advantage. This prophetic war of factions is really interesting to think about because both sides can really cater to different ways of war. The obliterating firepower of Abaddon and the legions, or the overwhelming tides of demons, both can ultimately be matched and performed by the Tyranids. And I think it's perhaps on the psychic plane that the true debate lies, for while Abaddon is a focused and determined commander, it's ultimately the gods of chaos who decide their fate. As the great game ebbs and flows, there's no benefit or joy for the gods in a war against the Tyranids. There's no souls or emotions to feed upon, no fear to fuel their ego. And while there may be no sustenance for the Tyranids against the demons, 
The hive mind wouldn't see its attentions turned. There's no ego to bruise. No game to be played. We cannot say the same about the dark gods. It's a real interesting debate to consider. Because while right now I would absolutely say chaos is ascendant, as more and more of the Tyranid race arrive, as more and more of the mortal forces of chaos were ground down, as Abaddon saw each and every advantage of his slowly nullified, could the ruinous powers be truly trusted to not turn upon each other? That to me is the question we all must answer. For me right now, I'd say chaos, but I just can't shake the feeling that out there in the void lies the true end of the galaxy as we know it. But as always guys, what do you think? In this end game scenario, is it with chaos or the Tyranids that the galaxy would meet its fate? Would Abaddon have enough to turn back all the race of the Tyranids? Could he rely on the ruinous powers? Or does the hive mind simply counter everything chaos throws at it? Would the race of the Tyranids slowly but surely grind down everything chaos threw in its way? As always guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And if you enjoy this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. Don't forget I'm uploading every day over on Roleplays, and we've got a Necromunda Hired Gun series cranking out right now, along with some Streets of Rage 4. But with that said, I am off and I'll see you all again real soon.